Good morning from the Black Spur, my favorite place to shoot pretty much on earth. It's at one degree at the moment and the sunrise you can probably see behind me is just starting to, to come up. So you're getting that beautiful light through the fog. Um, what I want to do today is take a, a few, well, self-portraits, I guess, but I want to do them, um, create like a little bit of a story. So do kind of like a nice wide one to give it a little bit of scale and then some tighter portraits as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up my 5D Mark IV with a 24 to 70 lens on it on a tripod. I'm going to connect the camera to the Camera Connect app and I'm going to be firing off these images using my phone. So I'm going to put a two second delay on the camera fire off on my phone, kind of get myself into position, and then the shutter will go. So the shots you've probably seen on Instagram and from myself of the Black Spur is that really traditional sort of track that goes up with the nice tall trees around it, full of fog. There's no fog in there today. So I found this nice open field, and what I want to do first is get a shot um, kind of showing a little bit of sense of scale. There's a little mound in the middle of this field. The field's full of fog. I'm going to go and stand on the mound and see if I can take a few shots with a nice wide open uh, zoom. So shooting probably at about 24 mil um, to give a bit of sense of scale and show the fog and a little bit of moodiness of this, uh, of this park or field that I'm in. So I've just moved the whole camera tripod set up a little bit closer to this mound where I'm standing just so I can get a tighter angle um, and probably a little bit more of a closer portrait. The last one was to get the scale and this one will be a little bit more of a portrait. So I've changed the composition a couple of times now. I've gone that kind of really wide shot to show the scale. Um, come in a little bit more, full body shot, quite tight. And now I'm gonna get one more shot, which will be sort of a half body portrait. So while I was taking these first few images, um, with this backdrop behind me, the sun's come up a little more. And if I just swing around a little bit, you can see right behind me this beautiful sunrise coming up and the sun, um, the sun rays kind of hitting that fog. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset up um, the tripod and see if I can get something with this in the background. So what I've been trying to do with these portraits is not to make them look so posed and make them look a little bit more lifestyle. So I've tried to move a little bit more, walk during the shots. And what I'm going to do now is even take a few um, holding my camera just so it looks a little bit more natural and looks a little bit more like I'm just out shooting and um, there's a few sort of candid photos of myself. If you don't have an app that connects via Wi-Fi to your camera, um, one of the little tricks you can do to make sure you get focus and fire off the shots is put, for example, your backpack uh, on the ground where you're going to be standing or where you think you're going to be standing. Set up your focus on your camera by half pressing down the shutter. Switch the lens to manual focus so it will be fixed to that spot where the backpack is. And then basically you've just got to set a 10 second timer, fire it off, run to the spot where that backpack was or where you've set the focus. So I was just about to call it after shooting that same location from the two different angles and then this happened. The sun just got up a little bit higher, started hitting these trees through the fog and creating this amazing flare. So I'll set the tripod up and get a couple more shots before we call it a day. So now that you've got a little bit more of an idea on how I shoot self-portraits when I'm outdoors or on location and what I'm looking for in terms of that life, more lifestyle set, getting a nice wide shot to show some scale, um, show off the location, a kind of more cropped but still full body shot and then the nice tight portrait. I hope you've picked up a few little tips and tricks from that and go out and shoot some of your own. Um, if you do and you post them on Instagram, make sure you tag me, I'd love to see what you come up with. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it now with a few more of my favorites from the day and make sure you like and subscribe.